Hi guys, Val here from The Urban Outsider. Um, I finally got things branded on my Instagram newly made YouTube channel and on my Poshmark to all say The Urban Outsider. Still have to make an LLC, but it's in the works. Um, but thank you for coming and checking out my haul video. I am doing this one in landscape for the intention of putting it onto YouTube and hopefully um, hopefully it looks a little bit better there, but we'll see how that comes out. I'll probably just put a small clip up on IGTV, but if you want to see the full video, you can hop on over to my YouTube, which you can find a link to in the link in my bio. So go check that out. If you're already on YouTube, thanks for checking me out here. Um, what I'm doing today, like I said, is a haul video and it's actually a little bit of a smorgasbord. So I have items from the bins the regular thrift shop. And then also I've got some donations from a friend who was clearing out her closet. And uh, one or two items which I've got right on top here just from my own closet um, helping me clear some things out. So let's start it off. <laughs> um, from my own closet, I just wanted to get rid of some out of season items, but this is a Neff trucker baseball cap mesh back. It's one size. I believe that this was actually from their women's collection, which there's not too many, but um, it is an adjustable hat, so you can change it around. And then this one as well, similar style, a little bit more rounded, but like a teal, real beachy and coastal kind of vibes. And that's also adjustable on the back there. Uh, I will say the teal one does have a little bit of color change on the inside. I think I bleached because I, I wore it on the beach while I was doing a stand-up paddleboard yoga um, class that I was helping teach. So that one got a little stained, but they've both been washed and cleaned. They're listed for around, I think I put them up for like 20, $25, but good item to pop in a bundle, especially as we're getting into spring and summer and you just want to refresh the wardrobe. Um, so those were the only ones from my, my closet. And then I've got a small, small haul from a thrift store that I went to after hiking with my friend, I took a different route back home so I could grab some items there or take a look around. I've had some good luck at this location in the past, but this time I actually put in my Instagram stories as well. There was just like nothing on the clothing front. The shoe front was bad. Everything I was finding was like just unknown brands, not great style, not great quality. Or if it was a good brand, it was like a really outdated style. So I think I posted a few things on my stories uh, for a thrift with me and it just... It's gonna happen at their stores sometimes. There is just nothing. But what I did find was a few housewares items. Like I said, I'm gonna start trying to do um, housewares things for, I'll put on Poshmark, but also for Etsy and for eBay. And then I've got one friend of my mother's <laughs> who I am actually looking specifically for teacups. So this one is a little hand-painted mug set so there's four of these and it is a company called arnell's and it was from the sears maybach stores back in the 70s so like 1978 was enough, like the date i saw for them and it's a set of four i found the four brought them all around the store with me as i looked in clothing and everything else <laughs> and by the time i got to the register i totally forgot one summer i must have put it down and not put it in the basket so when I back to, went back to the car, I like left the store, bought everything, and ended up going back in to find the fourth one. Because I just figured if I'm reselling it, a set of four I think is going to be a little bit more appealing to people than a set of three. So these guys, similar sets have sold around $30, $40 ish. So I'm probably going to list mine around $45 to start and then be open to offers. So it's a cute little mushroom painted mug set. I think there'll definitely be some mushroom enthusiasts and, uh, natural so we'll be interested in that and then i've got um actually three sets of teacups um they're bone china and then it's actually two different patterns the sets that i got but they were close together and i think they rung me up wrong so when i rechecked my receipts um i didn't it didn't seem like they got all three sets but uh, so i'm not sure so you can see this is one set this one is Royal Albert. See that? 
but then similar, but slightly different. This one is Queen Anne. So both bone china sets, um, it was a cup and saucer on each of them, um, but they go nicely together. And then I also found this little cold port set of four little like salad plates, but they all got the little gold, um, gold <laughs> detailing along the side and edge. And those ones are already actually for a specific customer. So she's got me looking for some tea sets because she wants an eclectic mix. So I've got a bunch of blue all on that one day. So now I need to find her some like pinks and yellows and some other colors to, to make it a little bit more eclectic looking. But anyhow, those ones I found, and that's pretty much all I got that day. Oh, I got one other thing. And I think I'm gonna keep for myself unless someone's really interested in it, but it is this gorgeous wine colored leather crossbody bag. And it's got like really heavy, like brass hardware on it. Um, there's no branding, but you can tell it's someone actually, I think hand tooled this out. Oh, here's that. <laughs> I did use it once already. Um, but it's this nice, really supple leather bag. There's two, two main pockets and then a third little pocket. It buckles in the front. There's a contrast of red leather on the inside. Um, but it's really nice. And actually while I had it in the store, another woman, um, pointed it out and said, Oh, where'd you find that bag? It looks great. And was asking if I was going to buy it. So <laughs> I ended up buying it for myself. I've used it once or twice for like crossbody, but it's a really nice leather. Like I said, there's no brand on it. So I think it was probably someone that handmade it. I'm not sure real comps on that, but I'll use it for a little bit myself. And if anyone's particularly interested in this, this pretty bag, um, I'm happy to consider offers on it, but it's real genuine leather, like a really well-made item. Okay. That's all for the one small thrift shop. Then we're going to get into, I think the next thing I've got here is, um, a bins, bins haul. It was a much, much larger grouping of items. And what happened with that was I actually wasn't planning to go to the bins for a while, but the same hike I went on with my friend, it had snowed the day before when we had planned to originally go. Um, since I'd already been up and ready to make the trek across the state line, I decided to do the bins anyhow. So if you follow my Instagram, there was a haul that I did. Let's see what day was that on the 20th. So there's like my whole trunk is full. I definitely got a lot more than I think I initially planned for, but see for that day i don't have oh i can't find the receipt from it but i remember it being somewhere around like the 90 to 100 dollar mark based on everything i got um i'd have to check my receipts for that but i spent probably a good two three hours there it was a long day it was actually inauguration day and i had to race home to um, give my husband a ride to coaching. So thank, thank, thankfully I had to leave to go get him. Otherwise I probably would have spent another two or three rounds there and I got some good things, but it was a lot. So I'm actually breaking it up into two pieces. This is the first part and then I'll do a second one, um, of some shoes and some handbags, um, and some more men's items that are going to be in a hall number two. So this is just part one of the bins hall. I haven't inventoried everything and found comps. Some of it is just, again, similar to my hats. It's gonna be more of you know, like lower ticket items that are great to add to a bundle. So this one is just like a great blanket scarf. Uh, I think the coloring is nice on it. It's like a light, light pink camel and grays. The colors can come up on there. I don't think this one had a specific brand on it, which you know, that's not as appealing, but it at least had, I was like a material tag. It's not, <laughs> no brand tag. I thought it had a brand tag on it. Um, but I think style is nice. It feels nice. It's in good condition. I gave it a nice, um, quick run in my washing machine. So it's clean, um, and color's good. So like I said, 
good addition for a bundle. I'm not gonna charge much more than like five, ten dollars for that. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna move this so I can get to it easier. Um, okay. Then this was a new tags pair of knee socks. Uh, the brand isn't something I've heard of, but it sounded like it was, it's richer and poorer. Um, over the knee socks, they're marled, they're new with tag, and a, like, they're not used. So I'm gonna say someone probably got them for Christmas and donated them after not liking the style. <laughs> um, that's fine, my benefit. This one as well, Sonoma, which I think is sold at uh, the box stores, but it's a big triangle scarf. It's kind of like a an animal print almost. I want to say like a cheetah or it's hard to see on the camera, but like it does almost like a little bit of, of an animal print or it's just a mixed pattern. But again, new with tags, still in the box um, or still in the packaging. So great for bundling. Um, maybe if you want to get some gifts along with some items for yourself, that's a good thing to add in. Uh, but that one, again, I probably wouldn't be charging more than like $10, $15 for that. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. So, okay. I put everything in the box out of order. So some of these items didn't get inventory. This one is a H&M metallic skirt. New with tags, size eight. The tags are still on it. Little fun metallic mini skirt. Um, I think that would be fun for springtime. <laughs> she is, I said a size eight. That one retails for 35 and I'm gonna list it around the $20 mark. Size eight. Okay. Let's see, H&M, ASOS is the next item. So I have an ASOS wash black mini skirt as well. This one is a UK size 12. I forgot to look up the US size, sorry. But Asos down a mini skirt, um, not super high end item, but since it's at the bins, it's a good item to pick up. It's a brand I don't mind having in my, in my closet. Um, that one retails probably somewhere around 32. Uh, I'll be listing that around 2025 to start. I don't know why I'm making myself twist around this way. <laughs> I need to move where the bin is basket. I'm going to move that behind me and sit here if you can see me. Okay. Um, so then we've got a J crew. It is what is it? J crew always. So it looks like it was, when I looked it up online, it looks like it's somehow like a collaboration with like J crew and the cost or the, co I'm not sure why the cost was in the description, but on the that's the label and it was coming up as j crew always so it seems like it's like this kind of pre-washed vintage look worn in feel men's shirt i believe it's a men's but i mean it could be unisex too but it's a medium 100 cotton really comfortable boxy Ooh, here boxy uh everyday tea so it says that these guys reach around for 45 and are reselling in the 10 to 22 mark. So I'm going to list mine at 25 to start, but great basic tea. Then I have one more scarf that I forgot about. Um, but these ones, I'm going to try and back up so you can see the full length. These ones are a pair of rustler jeans. They feel like they've never been worn, um, but they've got like little V in the back. I'm going to say they're probably men's, but they would fit similar to like a, like a mom style jean. So it's definitely a high. I think it's a 32. What is it? 30. It's a 30 by 30. Um, but they like really stiff, never been worn Wrangler jeans. Um, I know like you could probably buy them at like a Walmart or something, but they are selling from anywhere from 15 to 50, depending on the cut and styling. So I think if I take good pictures of them, style them as mom jeans um, and work on the description to focus it more on the mom jean trend, I think I can sell them probably a little bit higher. 
Um, so I'm gonna mark them around $30 to start. All right, one more big scarf. <laughs> this one again, I don't think this one had a brand on it, but just nice big blanket scarf and like a navy, uh, like a wine kind of cranberry color. And again, that one will get put, I'll do a load of the scarves so they'll be clean before they get sold. 10 to $15, bundle it up for, for a better option there. Okay, um, let's see. Ross Thor, okay, Madewell is the next. So like I said, I got some brands in this bins haul that I was really happy about. I don't always see them at the thrift store. I feel like the thrift store, they kind of, they get bought up really quick at the thrift shop um, or they're priced full. And if it's not like a really special item or not a current piece, um, I'm not as attracted to them, but we've got <laughs> a Madewell top here that is called the drop sleeve pocket tee. So it's got a little bit of a mustard uh, contrast on the neck and sleeve. There we go. One little, little pocket tee, real basic, kind of a crop style, boxy. And that is actually from the current season. So it retails for 45 and has sold anywhere from like 20 to 30. So I'll have mine listed at 35 to, as a starting point. And that is a size small. Small mate well. That's a great deal from the bins. Like I probably wouldn't have picked it up from the thrift store because it's a basic t-shirt. And maybe if I looked at it and saw the the season and the date on it as like a 20, I think it's 2020 or 2019, so it's not super old. But I probably would have picked that up at the thrift shop. But at the bins, since you're paying by weight, it's much more worthwhile. This one I know I didn't inventory yet. Like I said, I just had a big box. So I kind of wanted to get to this. Um, but this is another Madewell item. It's a size two. And it is a velvet, a charcoal velvet jumpsuit. It's got pockets. It's elastic, little, little elastic waist. I think it does have pockets, does it not? Yeah. <laughs> like I always feel like I pick up the items with pockets. It makes me happy. Um, it's kind of like a clam digger length. I like real wide leg. That's not a really appealing look to look at <laughs> on, on the video here. It'll look cuter on a mannequin. And I did see good uh, stock photos when I was at the bin. So I think this was an older style. I want to see it's like maybe 2017, maybe. I think it's 2017, 2018. So uh, not super current, but the velvet's nice. Um, I think the the jumpsuit is also still a style that people are going towards and the wider legs are still a style people are going towards. So um, again, because it was at the bins, I'm willing to test that one out and try that. Okay. Another one that I do not have inventory, but this is a um, anthropology brand. So it's like a little wool shopping tote and market bag. And the brand is Hansel from basil. I gotta clean that one up a little bit. Hansel from basil. But after some quick searching, I did see that it was an anthropology brand and the bag was sold in anthropology. Um, the comps on it were decent and it was just kind of like a fun little thing to add to my closet. I know it's a, a bag, but it's like a sweater material. So I thought that'd be fun while it's still, still colder out. Um, I can't say comps on that right now, because I said I didn't I didn't add that to my inventory list. I just wanted to get part one uh, started so I can get into part two and start listing some things. Um, so that guy, I'm probably gonna say maybe 25-ish. Uh, okay, let's see here. Some of the mugs that are still in there. All right, um, this one's not a brand that I, I really personally look for. Um, but I got actually my friend who got me into reselling in the first place, or not reselling, but she got me on the Poshmark in the first place. Uh, she had some really good luck with this brand. And again, I don't think it's like a, uh, stylistically a brand that either one of us would have gone after, but, um, she's had really good luck reselling. So it's Club Monaco, slim fit, size extra small. I believe it's actually a men's shirt, but it is, let's see, I think it's, yeah. 100% linen, little button down t-shirt. 
Uh, definitely gives me the, I, the vibes of like a nice tropical vacation. Um, maybe we can't honestly get away for tropical vacation, but nice to dress in that attire and give ourselves that little <laughs> escape in our minds right now. <laughs> um, but the men's shirt, I said the extra small retails about 130 and similar items have sold around 22 to 45. Um, so I'm going to be listing that probably around like 35 to start from there. All right. And then I've got a, a kid's jean jacket that I think is really cute. Um, you can tell it's quality made. So I did pick it up and I couldn't find the, the brand at the time when I was in, in the bin sorting. Uh, but it's got a little like removable hood. It's got this cute little patch on the side that says not made to be subtle. <laughs> that's, that's fun for a kid. Um, but it's just a fun kids distressed denim jean jacket. It is a kid's size medium. Um, like I, said, I could find the brand when I was at the bins itself, but after doing some more digging once I got home, it looks like they are a like an international brand that is sold to boutique stores. So that the smaller, like high street kind of shops um, or stores like that. So not one that's necessarily in like the big box stores or um, big retailers that they have their own shops, but they're sold in the smaller boutiques. That probably retail for 75, not as great resale value, but I saw some things selling for around like 25. Definitely some things from the same brand selling around like the five and ten dollar mark, but it was more of like t-shirts and stuff. So I'm hoping that the jacket would do a bit better. So I'm gonna list it at 35 and start from there. Okay. Um do, 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 do. all right. So the next one is a Bloomingdale's item that was new with tags and men's as well. So great to be able to find an item for men's and add to that section of my online shop. But it's from the men's store, Bloomingdale's, 100% cashmere, still has its tags on it. Um, so again, I think going in January was a smart idea. There's a lot of items I, I feel that people kind of got for Christmas. They weren't into and they let them go, but that's good for me. Um, so it's a men's cashmere zip up with a hood. And there's just like a little leather detail for the zipper. But I was able to find good stock photos of this as well. So that's great for me. Um, and it's also a size XL, so uh, men's item, larger size, so a bit more inclusive for my closet, which makes me happy. Um, and this sweater initially retailed for $248. Obviously, I'm not going to be listening at that, even though it's got tags. But I'm seeing items similar sell from like the $40 to $75 mark. So I'll be listing mine at $80 um, and then open to offers from there. So if you need to have anyone that's at home that wants a nice cozy sweater, uh, zip up because they can dress a bit more casually when they're working from home. Good option. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what goes next here. H&M Army Green. Oh, oh, oh there it is, I'm on. <laughs> Again, because the bin sometimes, I, know, I haven't done a lot of like shopping for myself lately. Um, I've got a lot of stuff off Poshmark myself, and sometimes sizing is not so not so great when you can't try things on. But I figured it's it's the bins, and if I can get just like some layering pieces for myself, great. <laughs> so this one's just an H and M army green little crop top, um, something I can easily layer or use as a little little top under a card again. So um, I might list it, but I, I might use it myself as well. That probably cost me 80 cents <laughs> at the bins. Um, oh, okay. Then we've got, let's see. Oh, uh, American Eagle high-waisted mom jeans. The number 1082 is the number. So I looked up that number. It is their mom jean. It is a size eight. Woo. <laughs> uh, great condition. And they might fit me, but if if I can sell them for 20, 25 bucks on Poshmark or any of the other sites, I'll do that. Um, but I'm also just trying to find a pair of mom jeans or like 
mom style of high waist jeans that fit me. I think I've probably ordered, I think I've probably ordered four or five different pairs the past year online. And I've just not been able to find that sweet spot of what fits right. And because we can't go into stores right now and really try things on as much. Um, hey, if I found the bins and it fit me, great. <laughs> so H&M top and the American Eagle jeans, maybe I'll keep. Um, but if they end up not fitting me properly, then I'm, I'm happy to resell them. Okay. Ari little lace mustard colored bralette, size extra small, looks in great shape. And not, not a huge item, but it's super lightweight. So with buying it for weight at the bins, happy to try that out. That's an extra small. Um, and I'll be listing that for about $22. I've seen them sold from like 10 to 20. So that's a great one. Definitely didn't weigh a lot for me. Uh, oh, um, a housewares item that I picked up from the bins, this really cute little brass candlestick individually probably not going to be a high priced item but um i saw similar listings where it's like like five or eight of them right like, so a mixed eclectic selection of these guys and they would sell for around 80 dollars plus so ideally i'll probably hold on to this and wait until i can find other items like it um Definitely not trying to match the same exact thing, but if I could find like other mid-century candlesticks that I can, I actually, yeah, it goes this way. Um, if I could find other ones like it, I'll make an assortment and then I'll sell it from there. But I think on its own, it's probably like just like $10. So that one, something I'll probably wait on to list. Um, okay, I think that's actually everything from the bins. Oh wait, did I have anything else? All right, Mark Ringo. Okay, yeah, brass council. Okay, so then I just have some items from my own closet that I'm selling. So that I had the the hats earlier, and then I've got this rip curl, like real loose knit cardigan with like a little bit of a drop at the bottom. It's got a little leather patch on the hip that says rip curl. Ooh, can you see that? Yep. And that is a size medium. And I'll be listing that for $20. Um, again, just trying to clear out some, some of my own clothes. I don't wear it as much. It's super comfortable. Just like a really nice light cotton cardigan. Um, I just have so many black cardigans. So I feel it was time to part with a few of them. Okay. Then I think I got this for, I think, I, I, I can't remember why I got it. Um, but it's a really, it's like a really bright colored scarf, not one, <laughs> it's not really my style, but it's a nice big scarf. Um, it is a brand, doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's Echo, um, but their scarves sell for around, <sighs> so anywhere from like five to $50 online. So I was shocked. I was going to donate it, but then when I looked it up real quickly, um, it looks similar to some of the styles that are selling for 50. So I'm going to list mine for 35. It's just a really bright colored, sorry, I'll, I'll undo it, but it's like a bright colored scarf for spring. And maybe it'll just dress up your, your basic tea while you're in a, a zoom meeting and need something <laughs> to, to help with that transitional weather. Um, but yeah, I, not really color, what, what color, what, <laughs> colorway that I would typically go with. Um, but I must've picked it up just for, for a worker, something to add. I, don't, I can't remember. Uh, okay. So then I've got some items from my girlfriend that was looking to clear out some items from her closet. She gave them to me. Um, I'm going to list those as well. So some of them I wasn't sure, but I found this boutique item on Poshmark. A lot of people are selling them from like 10 to what do I have here? Okay. Anywhere from like 10 to 55. So huge range. Um, but it's like a big poncho, but I literally found the exact same one. Only difference is mine has some buttons on the neck. So that one, a little bit different, but I'll probably list around 35. See what happens. Um, with it being cold out, I think it could still go still great. Nice little item just to throw on. 
um, to dress up a basic item or basic tee and leggings while we're working from home or <laughs> uh, whatever the case may be. But that one will be listed for around 35 to start. Then let's see, you've got this cute little LA Hearts. I think you can get like a TJ Maxx and like those kinds of stores. Um, but a nice little khaki jacket with like sweatshirt material arms and a little detailing on the elbows. Um, and it's got like some shoulder patches and things like that, but little like military utility jacket. Um, I'm gonna be listing that for 25 and that's a size large. I couldn't find retail price for it, but similar ones are selling for around 25, 30. So I'll do 25 on that. And then uh, she's got here a Lulu's like waffle knit turtleneck sweater in a light gray. There's a little bit of a texture to that. Barely worn and I think it's a size oh, choo -choo. extra small. So Lulu's waffle knit extra small turtleneck sweater and that one retail for 78. I'm going to list it for 30. Similar ones have been selling for around like the 30, uh, like the 15 to 39 mark. So good, good item. And then right, I've got some jeans from her. It's a pair of American Eagle bleed their high waisted super stretch jeans. Um, again, like I, I wouldn't probably pick up the American Eagle jeans from the thrift store or pay up for them. But like I did, I said, I got the American Eagle mom jeans from the bins because of weight. And then as someone who's getting rid of some items and she gave them to me, they're in good condition. Uh, she does have a cat. So I will be throwing her items into the wash before I do send them out or sell them or photograph them or anything. Um, but she was getting rid of them. So that's a, that's a good item for me and um, good bundling item too. The light in here is getting so dark. If I try and open that, I don't think it's going to help. So <laughs> we're almost at the end. <laughs> All right. Uh, she also gave me a pair of Lucky Jeans. And I think this is coming undone here. So I'll, I'll re-stitch that on. Um, but these are the Brook Skinny. So it's a light wash, high-waisted jean. Um, but that style I know Lucky's had for a long time. So hopefully I'm thinking that... You know, if people know a style that fits them for Lucky, um, they'll keep looking for that. So those ones retail for about 120, and I'm gonna do 30 on them. They are a size 27 or size four for Lucky. I'm realizing the light's getting really bad in here. <laughs> okay, just a few more items, almost done. Uh, Victoria's Secret little sleep shorts. Nothing, nothing fancy, but Again, with being at home and <laughs> loungewear being a thing right now, um, those guys are reselling anywhere from about like 10 to 20. So I'm gonna list mine at 25 and then they can be bundled. I'm not, I'm not gonna be too stressed if that doesn't bring me a lot, but it can't hurt to list it and give someone an option for bundling. Um, she also used to work at the Cape May Brewery. So she gave me a hat for a Cape May Brewery, baseball cap and that one, so I've seen them selling from like 10 to 15. But again, because it didn't cost, like it was donated to me, that's not so bad. So I'll list that for 10 or $15. I don't know if there's anything I can do to re-adhere the, the, <laughs> what you call it, um, the print on this, but this is a New York Giants, jersey and it says boss on the back um there's not a ton of items on poshmark for this kind of thing but what i could find for the boss was things selling for like 25 to 50 dollars this one's definitely you know used and <laughs> is well loved uh if i could figure out a way to get the why like some of the like i said the the te text to reattach. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments, let me know if you've got like a, a method <laughs> for reattaching it. Um, but I mean, 10, 15 bucks, it looks like the 
<laughs> I don't know anything about New York Giants, but it looks like this specific player or um, their items do sell quite well or high priced. Not that there's a ton of sales on there, but like I said, if it's 10, 15 bucks, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, I wouldn't be listing it for the 25, 50 that others are selling it for because that one needs some, some work. And then I've got one pair of yoga leggings, onesie or onesie. I never know how to say the name of it. Uh, onesie, onesie, onesie. <laughs> um, but those guys, just a pair of leggings. They are, they retail at $75. It's not, I wouldn't say it is, I don't know if it's similar to Lulu Lover enough, but I know for a while it was a popular style uh, when I was getting my, excuse me, my teacher training for yoga. Um, a lot of people were wearing it. It was like Lululemon, Onzi, and like a few other brands or ones. I'm like, I don't even know the name of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I know that this was like a popular brand a few years back. So not sure if it's still around as much. There's some pilling on it. So not, I'm not going to list it super high, but again, they retail for 75 and they sell from like 10 to 50. So I'm going to list these at 25 and these guys are a size medium, large. Okay. Um, and then, okay. So that's everything I got from uh, my girlfriend, the first half of the bins haul and the small thrift shop visit. Um, like I said, it's kind of a smorgasbord of things. I also found some things on Poshmark. Um, so these ones I actually bought from another Poshmark seller, did a bundle and they weren't necessarily my size. Um, but I wanted to try sourcing from another Poshmarker. Uh, she looked, it looked like she was trying to get rid of some things. Um, she gave me a great price, but on, if they don't sell, that's okay. One is a little bit smaller than I would like for myself, but I think they will be good items. So I got a Lululemon after a sauna zip up. It's a size four. They've got, it's got like a little contrast for the zipper, little hood. The only thing is it's missing the ribbon. Um, but the zip ups from Lulu sell for about $50, 40 to $50 sometimes. So uh, this one I have listed at 50, obviously it's not, it's missing the little ribbon, but if that one can sell for upwards of like 30, 35, I think that's a good price for me. And like I said, I got a bundle from the other seller. So it was a good deal. And there's some items in there that I would like to keep for myself. So I think it'll work out. And then I got um, two different free people slips and um, they're both listed on my Poshmark already. I put them on uh, in one of my my previous posts. So it's the free people. Oh, where is it? Free people, free people. Here it is. Oh, free people viola lace. So I think this one they do this in every color, I feel like. So every season there's like a different color in it. I've got it in two, two colors. Uh, there's one little tear there along the lace and the cotton. Um, but that retails for $88 and a lot of them are selling from like the 20 to 35 mark. So I've got it posted at $30. That is a size small. And then I also have another free people one and this one is called the free people marcia mini dress it's a floral floral print lace like high neck dress super flowy and fun um this one's a size medium i'm perfectly fine with keeping it but um i got it for a good price they retail for about 80 dollars it's really pretty um lightly used and it's got two little buttons at the neck really pretty like emerald green color and then like a like a feathery or floral kind of design throughout um and this one is sold anywhere from like 
10 to $70 on, on Poshmark. So again, I got it in a bundle. It's a good, good price for me, but if I can turn that around for a sale, I'm open to doing that instead of keeping it for myself. <laughs> um, so that one, and then I think, oh, there's one more dress I did get from her as well. And this seller was really sweet. There's a, um, there was a bralette I got for free people that I think she mislabeled. Oh yeah. She mislabeled the size. Uh, I think she had it listed as a medium or a large and then it's new with tags. Um, but then she ended up actually reaching out to me and saying that it was a size small. So for myself, probably the medium or large would have worked better, but it was new with tags and she said it was a small. So I'm still fine with that. It's like this little navy, it's called the Miss Daisy bralette. Um, new tag size small, navy. And um, like I said, she offered to take it off of the bundle because she realized it was the wrong size, but it was new with tags, so I was still happy to get it. And then she said she could either take it off the bundle or she could ship me additional items. So she had some cola, I think that's how you say it, cola sun care items so it's like tinted uh chapsticks and items or tinted uh lip care these guys so i had originally asked for two and it's like a nude color and a pink and then because she got the size wrong on one of the items i bought she offered to take that item off send me a new bundle price or to double the skincare item so she sent me she ended up sending me two more of these. Um, so she doubled the, the lip care stuff I got. And then she also sent me, I think it's like, like a regular body sunscreen. Um, so that was fine with me, that was great. <laughs> um, and the last item that I got from her was an All Saints dress. It's like a striped t-shirt dress. It's called the All Saints Kinney LA Striped dress and it does have pockets <laughs> always makes me happy um and i'm so sorry the lighting here got so bad so quickly it was it was nice and sunny but if i leave the shades open then you can't see anything so it's like a black and navy stripe i'm just real i'm gonna steam it so it'll look better um <laughs> but real simple style and they've got the black little like sheath it pokes out at the bottom um cute and it's like cuffed on the sleeves but the all saints dress is a size four yeah so us4 uk8 um it's i don't know if it's gonna be the right fit or not for me i didn't get a chance to try it yet try it on or not yet but i got this the free people slips and um, the free people bralette the the kula skincare products um, all of that was bundled. It was a really good deal that she gave me. And then, like I said, she gave me the extra skincare products when she realized the size was, size is wrong. Um, so it was a really good deal. And the All Saints dress, I don't know if it's going to fit me, but it retailed for two fifty, and it sells for the resale on it's not great. Um, but it sells for like 30 to 40, 45 dollars. And I had seen some good stock photos. So I'm going to list it at 40. Um, but that would be worth it for me. So if I had, so it's the first time I'm really trying to like source from Poshmark itself. Um, there was one new with tag item, actually a few because the, the skincare products were new with tag as well. Like they're still in their box unused. Um, so I've got those items, the slips, all items that I personally would wear. The only one that wouldn't work for me is the, the Lulu zip up. I think that one would be a bit snug it's a size four i'm definitely a size six now and lulu but um in the end it was worth it the bins trip um i like i said i still have shoes and bags from them there's some more men's items that are in my car that's gonna be part two um and then then the thrift shop visit like i said i didn't really find any great clothing items that day but I really like the little mushroom mugs. I think they're really cute and funky. Um, like that's my personal style. I love that. <laughs> I think that's adorable. Um, and then I got the mugs for 
the woman who, you know, I know her, I know her through my mom, but she's bought a few things from my reselling site already. And she reached out to me specifically asking to look for, uh, the, the vintage China sets. So, you know, like not necessarily a great Poshmark day for me to like to find items for that sourcing, but still some good items and the, the leather, leather bag I was happy with. So all in, um, like I said, it was kind of a mix of everything, but I haven't done a haul in a little while. I wanted to show you guys some things that I've been getting and I need to get on listing. I, I just, in my head felt like I needed to get the video done first so I could give people a sneak peek of what's coming. So if anything does sell before I get a chance to photograph it and list it, that's great. Um, but I also just need to get on listing. I, I just got sidetracked again. <laughs> um, anyhow, that's all. Thanks for watching and coming and checking me out. Um, if you're on my Instagram, like I said, there's links in my bio. If you're on YouTube, let me know what was your favorite item from today. Are there items that you would particularly be interested in seeing? Um, maybe there's sections of the thrift shop that I am skipping that I should be paying more attention to. Um, men's, for instance, I'm gonna be trying to add more of those items. Um, spring styles that you might be looking for. Uh, so the next time I get out to the thrift stores again, maybe some styles that I should be keeping an eye out for for springtime. Um, any of that, let me know, leave me a comment. And thank you again for checking me out and I'll see you maybe the next few weeks. I'll get part two of my BIMS haul up. Take care everyone.